Well, hi, Kickstarter community. Um, hi, I always do this. So every time I make a video, I like start really peppy and then I say um immediately, like I haven't been thinking about shooting this video for a long time. So that's embarrassing, so just keep writing with me. So a lot has been happening, as you guys know. I just uh, recently shared with you the hard proof for the deck and updates on that is that the production company says that production, this was last week that I heard this, so they said um, that production will be done on the 28th, which I'm shooting this right now on the 27th, so they're saying tomorrow, but I just heard yesterday that it seemed like the production company wanted to send me another hard proof to see like, these are the edits that we did, do you like it now? And so I was just like, no, no, all the edits were so small, please just send them off and let me know on a timeline as soon as possible. So that's where we're at, like fingers crossed. The production company is in China, so I don't think they celebrate our Thanksgiving, so I'm really hoping that um, production will be done this week. And then I did pay for expedited shipping, so I'm still asking the production company what that means, how soon it will actually get here, but um, yeah, I think that first week of December is a pretty decent bet. Um, and then I'm going to be sending them off to my wholesale suppliers first, and I'll be disclaiming, or I'll like send out a list of all those places for any of you guys that weren't able to back the Kickstarter where you can buy them in stores. Um, which is so cool, right? Because from in stores, you can just buy it directly from them and get it sooner. Versus if you buy it from me off my website, um, I'm not shipping off of my website until January. So if you're like so antsy, um, I'm definitely going to be supplying this list of wholesalers uh, and stores that you can just buy the deck from right there. So that's really exciting. It's all kind of slowly starting to come together. I'm like so antsy to get these out the door to you guys because my studio is full of boxes and um, I don't know if everyone is this way. I certainly am. Um, I get stressed when there is clutter and there is so much clutter in my studio right now and that is really hard for me. So I'm really, um, I'm excited for you guys to get the deck and I'm so excited for me to stop living in like a box paradise. <laughs> um, but anyway, the guidebooks are in, which is really, really exciting and I'm gonna be showing you guys that. So this is it. Um, it is 102 pages. Each page talks about an individual card. Um, it has that soft touch feel, so it, it feels like really silky. Um, the problem with that that I'm experiencing, this is my book. This is the only one that I've been like playing with and touching. Um, it does seem to kind of get dirty a little quick because it's white and because it's that soft touch. But um, I already cleaned mine with a magic eraser and it just like psh, like wipes right off. So that's really nice. So if your book is deeply loved, <laughs> then um, you can just kind of clean it up. Um, so the things that I really want to introduce you to in this book, so it has that, um, that elemental symbol here on the back and the, the wand that carries through the whole deck. Um, this matches the cover of the box of the vendor deck. And there are a couple of things that I did in this deck that I hadn't seen done. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist because there's so many amazing tarot creators that I'm sure it's been done. It just wasn't in the resources that I was looking at. I wasn't seeing them all compiled together. Um, so the guidebook I made is a little bit different and I'm trying to get some good examples. So it starts, it does the usual thing of guidebooks. If you're new to tarot, it talks about each thing like the major arcana, the minor arcana. It breaks down the elements, um, what each element means in the minor arcana, court cards, usual, usual, usual stuff. Um, I did a little breakdown of numerology here, like what each of the numbers means. Um, I like that. I think it's like a quick way to remember your cards if you know the element and you know kind of the numerology themes of that, that it like it feels like a flashcard for me. So I wrote those down too because I think I think that information is just cool and interesting if that resonates with you. And if not, leave it. <laughs> Um, I also put the Zodiac associations in here, so a lot of people 
connect um, astrology with tarot. Obviously, they're so connected. And I put in here, like, if you're an Aries, then your, like, your tarot card that would represent you would be the emperor. I put in notes like that for people that maybe know more about astrology than they do about tarot and can kind of be a bond that, that can get to know their deck a little bit better with. And for me, this was like the part I was the most excited about are these, um, I hope you guys can see it, the tabs on the side, these black tabs, these things. <laughs> um, because every time I'm looking through my resource book, I don't know the order that the author has put their stuff in, like if it starts with the major arcana or if it, you know, or if I'm looking up like the two of cups or something like that, I don't know where the cups are in there. So it was really important for me that I had this tab system. If I'm trying to look up a specific card, I wanted it to be a quicker resource. <laughs> um, yeah, so really, I'm really proud of that. And then I also, for each of the suits, I put in a lot of additional information on the suit. So in here it has the, like a, a quick kind of snap judgment of each of the suits. So it is of course like archetypal, there are these big things, take what resonates, leave the rest. But I also put in stuff like if what you're pulling cards for is something that might have a time frame, I put in um, notes on that and I put in notes on like the season that it's represented by. Like I'm looking at wands and fire here and it's represented by the season of spring. And um, the time also moves like relatively quickly here. So it's, it's like in the time frame of weeks versus with air and, and swords, it could be like a time frame of days if you're thinking about that sort of thing. Um, I just think all these notes are really interesting. I also put in the zodiac associations with each element. So if you are a fire, if you're represented by fire, then that would be Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And so those notes also just to help you pull in the knowledge that you have already to help you kind of relate to the card. Um, so it's all, all of it is here. And then I've been talking about this a lot on the media, but um, yeah, you can kind of see it better maybe if it's visual. So this first little part is talking about the numerology. So this is like the, first, the ace of wands. So there's the one to represent that. There's this little like snap, um, quick shot like if you want like a word a power word or a phrase that represents that card that's up here at the top this first paragraph is the continuing story so this is the ace of wands so this is actually the start of the story of the character that represents the wands and fire so this first paragraph is always a continuing story and then the second one is kind of the take it this is the action now like this is what the thing to do is um, I'm really proud of this book, but I'm also trying to hold it gently for myself because I think, especially compared to a lot of other people in the tarot community, a lot of other you guys, um, you have different experiences with the cards and maybe a longer time with the cards. Um, this little guy is my culmination of a year and a half of like research on the tarot. So a very um, academic, <laughs> following I guess on them so I'm still working on my intuition stuff but writing this and working through it um, has been really really cool for me and really exciting and I I'm really excited to get it to you guys so basically I have everything just waiting on the deck as soon as I know anything about the timeline of course I'm gonna be updating you guys and I'm working on the website right now Progress is slow, <laughs> but um, progress is slow on the website, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to have it up in December so that way people can start pre-ordering um, pre -ordering decks if for some reason you weren't able to get in on the Kickstarter, that's going to be available. Um, I'm still going to continue doing the nomination program so you can continue to stand in your nominations for someone that you think you know could really use an extra like art and guidance in their life that's going to be live and it'll be i'll be sending out like i'm not sure on the quantity but like at least one free deck every turn of the season um through this nomination program i'll have a wholesale shop on there so if you've already opened an account with me 
it timed me out. My <laughs> camera doesn't like to talk for too long. But really quick, a couple last notes. Um, I will be putting up posters on the shop, so keep an eye out for that. I'm thinking they're going to be 8.5 by 11 right now. I would really like to have them pre-matted for you guys so you can just put them into a frame that you could buy anywhere. You don't have to get a custom frame. You can just buy a frame at Target or wherever you like to buy frames and just pop it in already with a mat and it'll look really lovely. So that's my kind of workings right now on that. The pins will be for sale on the website. Um, I'm debating right now about stickers, but absolutely everyone who shared the campaign through Instagram is still lined up to get a sticker. And that's where it's at. This week I'm resetting up the studio for shipping. So, um, busy guys, it's busy. And thank you guys as always for being here with me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.